All right, so now we're all set up. Everything's working. There's some tutorials for how to use Zoho Mail when you get to it. You know, it's a it's a pretty un easy to understand uh, platform. You know, you get your inboxes and your folders, and it's a it's a mail inbox. There's a lot of, of cool things it can do. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of cool things it can do. Um, what I want to talk to you through is getting it on your computer. So I'm going to put it on my Mac, on Mac Mail, and and I'll also show you how to do it on Outlook. So so what we're going to do with this bit is get it working on your computer, though. So I am going to show you how to get it working on a Mac. So obviously I've got all my emails. I'm going to go to Mail, Add Account. I'm going to go to Other Mail Account. I'm going to put in... I'm going to change this to Team Happy Me Sports. Obviously, you put your name. Team at Happy Me Sports dot com. Put in your login password. I think I've done that right. And it's going to say you need to manually set up these two settings here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, it's a new search. It's a new search tool here. So. Uh, you're going to go here and then do quick access and just type in IMAP. See IMAP access. Now this is the settings I need to use. So if I go back to here, I can see that it is imappro.zoho.com 993SSL. So imappro.zoho.com and the outgoing is smtp.zoho.com .zoho.com Username, uh, it says it's automatic so I'll leave it. And that should, uh, unable to, I don't, yeah I don't know if I put my um, password in properly. Let's try again. Well, it sounds like it's trying. Unable to verify user account. Team at happymesports.com. That's right, though, isn't it? Team at happymesports.com. Uh, oh, so our map's not actually enabled. You need to tick this on. So tick, tick that box. <laughs> uh, I think somewhere else, it, it in the control panel in here, you can go in a different way and, and allow IMAP, but make sure that's ticked. Now, hopefully, if I do it again, there you go, it works straight away, right? So, yeah, that's what happened. When I set mine up, I enabled IMAP through the other other side of it. If you go to control panels, it's a different area. So just make sure that's ticked. Put in that setting and that setting, and you are sorted, right? Um, now I will have here imap it's probably just syncing to start with let's just give it a minute to sync online status try again let's see and happy me sports enable this account showing offline Have I got to do something more? Okay, let's try and send an email and see what see what happens. So I'll send myself an email. Uh, and send. So the email sent through. So that email's right. So I, I've so uh, some people give me grief for these this being looking like it's flaky because it's not working. But I'm just showing you that sometimes it don't work straight away. There's little bits of funky stuff that you've got to set up and change, right? So I can see that I'm sending email. I'm going to reply to it. Uh, hello, Paul. Uh, 
let's see there's an inbox here so here's the reply hello Paul so that the the box is working uh, that's a few entries in your domain are not configured all oh, right so it's saying that maybe that isn't happy but I think it is so if I go back to dashboard and domains yeah it says it's all happy though so if you go to so I jump through that there it's obviously up here it's telling me something but if you go to control panel and you'll get to this hi there 30 day trial is about to expire that's all right and go domains you're going to see and you should have ticks here saying everything's okay right so mail counts mail forwarding incoming outgoing that's happy spam Uh, organization migration export mail account I'm not going to do that live on so mail accounts if I click on it pop access disabled active sync disabled IMAC IMAP uh, enabled so I'll turn this is where I said you could type you could turn it on somewhere else uh, team at happy me sports.com mail forwarding I'm not worried about so it's telling me everything's all right you know everything's happy so let's just go back and see if we can get it working again so preferences enable this account showing offline server settings or oh, usernames missing look so maybe when it said automatic then um, it obviously didn't mean automatic so it made me look a fool didn't it HappyMeSports.com. Save, verifying, and it's online now. So I may record, re-record this bit, but I also want to show you that it's you know I'm not perfect. I do stupid things too. Uh, when it's a username, put the email address in. So I'll, what I'll do is let me delete that again. Accounts, all right? Let me delete that. Happy Me Sports, and I'll go through it all again. Remove from all. all. Right, so it's gone. All right, she's so gone now. So now I'm going to go back. Mail preferences. I'm going to click uh, add other mail account email address. I'm going to put team happy me sports. Email team at happymesports.com. Password is my login password. Sign in. Where it says automatic, I'm going to put the email address again. It obviously, it isn't. imappro.zoho.com. smtp.zoho.com sign in now hopefully this time it's gone back to automatic there isn't it the username is not team at happy me sports i may have put the password in wrong actually there sign in Yeah, I had a feeling that I might have typed. Yeah, so I may have typed that password in. Done, right? Now this time, it came online straight away, right? So just proving that I'm not perfect and I don't do this all the time. But, you know, you can troubleshoot things. You can get through it. Even if you've typed something in wrong, you know, if my instruction is not perfect, there's also Zoho's got, you've got help with Zoho as well. Right, so the next part, I'm going to show you how to do it on Outlook. I need to fire up a, a, a Windows computer that I've got access to. Right, right. so same thing in Outlook. If you open up your Outlook, you're going to go to File, Account Settings, Account Settings, and then New Account. Welcome to Outlook. Enter an email address to add your account. This is kind of why I don't use Windows, but come on. 
I'm not sure what it's searching for. Why is it searching? Add new. Yeah, has that has it crashed? <laughs> you can see that I use a I use a Mac and I uh, I use Mac Mail. I don't use Outlook. This is a this is an Amazon uh, workspace that I use, and this is pretty much exactly why I don't use Windows. Come on, seriously. There we go. Finally, it woke up. So, enter an email address to add account. Uh, let me set my account up manually. You might as well click this because it won't work uh, manually, uh, automatically. I'm pretty sure it won't. I'm going to uncheck it just, just to see. Um, team at happymesports.com. I'll let it see if it can work just to show you. If it does set it up, then that's cool. It, may, it might do. I'd be surprised, but so it'll go off and check the settings of that email address. Enter the password. Doing its thing. Account setup is complete. So fair enough. All you've got to do in um, Zoho, it, sorry, in Outlook is is walk through, and it will automatically find it itself. So uh, if I go here, I don't use I don't use this that often. So if I go new email now, team from Team Happy Me Sports to Paul at paulnicholson dot com. Test hello, test hello. Go back to my mail. Here's my email, test hello. And reply, yep, all working. And send, I should see it come through to here. Yeah, your blows. Yep, working, and I'm not sure where it'll show up in here because I don't use this uh, inbox. Where are we? Here we go. Inbox. <laughs> I don't use Outlook, so sorry. So yeah, so that's how to set it up. It's really simple. Works straight away. Ish. Oh no, I'm in Mac. I forgot to put the password in. Um, and well, now you're all set up. When you want to use it on your computer, uh, let's go to, sorry, when you want to use it on your phone, you just download the app. Go to the app store on your phone and search for, um, I don't know if, sure if I can get to, I'm not sure I can get to on here. Walk through what's new. So those are the videos. Oh, yeah. Well, go to the App Store on your phone, on your on your iPhone or your Android phone. Download the Zoho Mail app, uh, and it'll just ask you for the email login, and it'll work straight away. So, any problems with this? I know I was a little bit flaky there because every time I set a mail up, it always makes me look like a fool. Um, when I think I've done it uh, hundreds of times, it always I always forget to do something. But hopefully that helps. Leave a comment below and I'll tidy this video up before um, to make it like less flaky before you see it. But leave a comment below if you've got a device that you're struggling to get working on and I will help. I'll do some searches and try and make sure you can get the right settings. So now you're all set up. Uh, Cloud-based email and on your own favourite app.